Peace, 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 peace. Okay. Here we go. So, men can't stand when women gas each other up with unrealistic fantasy Disney advice. Right? They say women are, 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 are aiming out of their league and they all think that they, they deserve this and deserve that. And, you know, but then they'll turn around and and gas up their 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 homie, their friend, with the same nonsense advice that you can't stand that women do to each other, but then you turn around and do it to your brother and your homie. What? Make it make sense, yo. You telling this man he can achieve all these things that you know damn well he ain't never achieved this far. You know what I mean? So how all of a sudden now he's gonna start making all these amazing achievements huh where, where, where are they coming from this brother ain't never had i don't know it's like it, it, it goes many it goes many ways i'm just simply saying that y'all do the same thing you know y'all do the same male empowerment but y'all don't like female empowerment and man and, 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 and girl power and, and all the bull crap they do. Y'all do the exact same thing. Telling brothers that, you know, they can you see you see this dude dating um, you know, he he, he dating uh, 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 um you know, he, he always got chubby, you know, chubby chicks, you know, he feels you know, he feels with his with his with his salary, his income, his height, he can only he only feels comfortable approaching chubby chicks, you know, but it's not working out for him. So he's discouraged and you're telling him that he he can get this, you know, this superstar fitness, you know, he, he, he needs to aim higher. He aiming too low and he disappointing himself with chicks that's that's out of his league. How's it out of his league if that's all he had? Shouldn't you tell him maybe he needs, he needs to work on himself right there in his league? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I mean, you know, you know, he, he, he's only five six. You know what I mean? And you know, he only makes thirty eight thousand dollars a year. And you know, it it, it 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 matters in the world we live in. You know, maybe it shouldn't, but it does. You know what I'm saying? These are all part of the things that we that we're graded and we're scored on, whether we like it or not. You know, because again, it still comes back to nature. A lot of men are unrealistic. They men are on some stupid shit. Like um, men are saying shit like uh, uh, uh men are not loved unconditionally. Nobody's loved unconditionally. Not even your children are loved unconditionally. Cause if they was, you wouldn't discipline them. You would let them do whatever they want if they was loved unconditionally. Animals, well, I don't know, animals might be loved unconditionally. <laughs> but I ain't never seen a human being that's loved unconditionally. Parents kick out children all the time. Parents turn their back on children all the time. Women are at, 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 at where women come to blows with their daughters and they kick out their sons. And so I, I don't know, men men walk away from children. I, I don't know what you're talking about when, 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 when you say that... Uh, that women and children are loved unconditionally. No, they're not. Everybody, everything comes with conditions, brother. So how do you want some unrealistic shit? Okay, look at nature, right? In nature, most most males don't don't ever touch no 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 vagina. You know, enough men don't never get a chance. Enough males don't ever get a chance to reproduce themselves or even feel that wet wet because the alpha takes them all. You know what I mean? His only chance is, 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 to, is to run up and get and get a sneak poke when the alpha is is out, you know, marking his territory. He might do a little sneaky link with, 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 one, with one of, the, with one of the, the female primates. Yeah, even female primates be doing sneaky links, but <laughs> that's something all else, right? But he ain't getting a chance to he ain't getting a chance to have no offsprings. You know what I'm saying? If that happens, I'm talking about rare little. This, these, these are rare occasions. I'm, I'm making a joke right now, but in general, the bull. There's only one bull to all the females. If another bull comes around, he, he, he got to fight that bull if he wants a female. You know what I mean? There's no, there's, no, there's no courtship in nature. It's the biggest and the baddest gets them all. So now, to, Nate, I don't care what society says, nature will never change. A female wants the biggest, strongest male that's going to provide and protect, right? So now we live in an economic world. I hate it. 
I hate it. I think it's slavery. I, I, I believe in nature, but we live in an economic world. So right now, providing is based on economics, bro. So you can't get salty when she looks at your figures. Now you can say she's unrealistic about, you know, you you know, like she ain't never made two, more than 20 grand a year in her life, but she wants a six figure dude. Like, no, shorty, if you making 20 grand, why can't your man make 25, 30 grand and y'all fuck, figure it out? But that's not what they want. They all want big, big figure jiggers, right? And we know that that's not gonna happen for most of them. They're gonna wait until they're 50 years old and say, ah, I made a mistake, but I'm not on them right now. I'm on y'all, right? So you got to you gotta build something for yourself. I don't care what you build, but you got to build something. I'm not saying you got to meet their standards, but you got to build something for yourself and then bring something in, you know, find something who's willing to work with your standards, but you got to build something, bruh. I, I don't believe I don't believe dudes should, should, should be looking like okay like, like 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 if we're talking to young people but you know people going through it at all ages but let's just go for a scenario I'm not even gonna bring up ages because this shit no disrespect the economy is messed up and everybody's feeling it so if you're in a position where you're living with people right and and she living with people right or she living by herself right you don't you don't move in with her ladies you don't don't let a brother who ain't got nothing move in with you i don't care if he's working you know what i mean and and and, and brothers you got to stop trying to move in with sisters and you guys stop trying to like make it seem where like y'all want to get a place together no get your own place that you can afford with your money whatever you can afford with your money get it pay all your bills by yourself that you can afford in your in your um you know in your tax bracket, according to your income, right? And then you got to find a sister that, 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 that that's willing, that's, that's with it, man. Stop being mad because she ain't with it because she don't want to move in your mama's basement. She not wrong. And and if you got a one bedroom in the ghetto and that's what she wants, find a chick who wants her, who don't mind that. Find a chick who, who's messed up living in, in her mama's basement and your one bedroom apartment is a come up. <laughs> but you can't expect her to have a whole house and then move into your one bedroom. She's not going to do that. And if, if you move into her house, she ain't going to respect you. It's just what it is, bro. It's just what it is. So you can you can achieve whatever you achieve. You, you ain't got to have a house and 40 acres and Maseratis and all the crap they want. But you got to have your own stability. You got to be standing on your own, too. You know what I'm saying? And then find you a, a, a minimalist sister, a humble sister who, 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 who wants that, bruh. But don't get mad that they don't want what you what you don't have. Or, or, or don't get mad that, you know, as you, like, you got to stop being mad because nature, nature says, nature says you, you got to build a nest. Nature says you got to, you got to, you got to find the, the safe grounds that, that she can feed. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to set, you got to set out and make it where she can be comfortable to, to, to reproduce, man. That's how nature designed this shit. Y'all, like I said, nobody wants to play their role. Nobody wants to play their role. Dudes over here like, love me for me. I get it. I get it, but that that love still has to come through you working. You give, you got to put them in a position where they can nurse you back to emotional health. But you can't expect them to, to be struggling and then have time to nurse you back to emotional health. And we're all fucked up. I'm not saying we don't need to be nursed back to emotional health, male and female. But a woman's nursing back to health is security. And once you give her that security, she will give you that emotional support. She will give you that peace. You know, when I say emotional support, I'm talking about that peace, right? But she can't, but the peace comes after the security. Y'all feel like she got to give y'all peace before you give her security. And nature didn't design it that way. Nature, does, now she has to trust, she has to trust you. I mean, but, 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 but real talk, you, you got to have the peace. You got to already have the peace ready. I mean, you got to have the security ready for her. Now, if you give her the security and she don't give you peace, she's the problem. But if you can't give her security, bro, you really can't expect peace. Because if she's stressing, yo, she can't focus on giving you peace. Now, now, what she values as security determines everything. You know, you got to, like I said, you got to find sisters realistic. You got a lot of sisters out here that's not materialistic. And they don't want millionaire, millions and mansions and, and seven children in private school. Avoid those. Let them, let them, let them all pawn over the one percenters, and when they really, and when they're ready to deal with polygamy, they'll be happy. One percenters is, go, is gonna have multiple women. They're gonna have that. So when when these sisters who want who want millionaires are ready to share him, 
they'll be they'll be all right. Until then, they're gonna be mad. But for the rest of us, you know what I mean? You know, a woman has to ask herself what's important. You know, how does she want to live? You know, where where you know is she trying to find just you know stability? You know, you know food, clothes, shelter, and love. But if she wants all the finer things and the wine and dine, then good luck. Because most of us don't have, most of us is not living puff daddy, you know, basketball wives lives. Most of us is out here struggling day to day, hand to mouth, just hoping to put away at least two months rent and, and not be in a constant state of fear. You know, but that's how nature is. That's how life is. Life is not abundant. See, y'all got misconstrued by Hollywood thinking life is abundance. Life is not abundance. Life, life, life is, is is a cycle of famine and feast, ups and downs. Y'all even take vows, richer or poorer. But as soon as the struggle comes, everybody's mad. That's not realistic. The whole point of coming together is to make it easier during the struggle and during the hard times, not so that they they won't exist. That's a huge misconception. And I'm going to just keep this one here short and spicy. I hope I made it clear on some other levels and other angles. Again, with the whole relationship vibes. All right, y'all. Peace and love. Get at me. Let me know what y'all thinking. Yes, I respect.